Sammy, and you. Yeah, oh, here you are. Great. Yeah, you're, you're up next. So this is a program we're running over the summer. It's the first uh, full program uh, that we're running in a summer. It's, it's shorter in length, two and a half months or so. But uh, a full program, it's, it's in this stream of uh, uh, theory plus machine learning. And it's on the topic of foundations of deep learning. So, uh, Sunny Benjio is one of the one of the organisers. giving me the opportunity to talk briefly about this uh, summer program. <coughs> it's going to be much briefer than the other ones. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a program on foundations of deep learning. Uh, my co-organizers uh, would have been much better than I at presenting. So Alexander Madri from MIT, Elkanan Mosel from MIT, and Matthew Stelgarski from UIOC, and myself from Google. Uh, so at this point, I think uh, deep learning doesn't need any introduction. You, you've heard of it, you've used it, uh, and uh, you're happy with it, but you don't understand it, or at least I don't. <laughs> so w why does it work? Why doesn't it work? Uh, what's going on with these big black boxes? I think these are very important questions because because it works, there's a lot of companies and a lot of people who are actually using these uh, beasts and uh, some of them making money, some of them taking decisions that, are, uh, that could have a high impact on society. Uh, but often they don't really know uh, why it works or whether it's going to work tomorrow or, or in which case it's, gonna, it's going to fail. So having more uh, uh, theoretical understanding of what is going on would be useful. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, theory uh, 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 around uh, machine learning for, for like decades, uh, but uh, what, what makes deep learning more difficult is, is I guess, this combination of having a, a, a lot of non-linearities that you, you, you apply one after the other with a, a stochastic algorithm to train and, uh, and uh, a huge amount of data with uh, each of which a huge amount of features. So all of these put together in the same uh, problem makes it much harder to analyze. Uh, but uh, despite that hardness, I think we, we do need to, to try to improve our understanding uh, to, to be safer on what we do. So I think that's the goal of the, 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 the program for next summer. Uh, so uh, there's, a, there's already a lot of uh, things that have been done, but we, we want to bring people together so that they try to come up with uh, uh, even more rigorous approaches, maybe better bounds on, on various things. So we've uh, focused on, on four different uh, lines of, uh, of research. Optimization, which is you have these uh, big, uh, big models with millions uh, or more of parameters. And how do you actually fit these parameters to, to the data that you have and the loss function that you want to optimize? Uh, uh, since it's not convex, obviously, it's, uh, even initialization is becoming a problem. And how do you initialize and how do you move and, and uh, optimize is uh, not clear and which approaches will work and which will not work without actually doing it. Uh, and can we prove uh, how fast it's going to optimize and, and all this uh, is going to be one of the focus. The second, even more important, is uh, once you've trained this big beast on, on your data, of course, you're going to use it on some other data, hopefully from the same distribution. What can you expect? So there's a lot of uh, generalization bound that exists. Most of them are not very useful in terms of uh, of what they tell you, like the, the expected performance of your model, the bounds are going to be so, so loose that it's going to be useless. There's better work happening now, but still uh, more to be enough useful for practitioners. Uh, more importantly, 
you're going to use your data, your model on data that is actually not coming from the same distribution because that's real life. There's going to be a lot of uh, noise. There's, there will be problems. And, and can we say something about the data you're going to see and, and how robust you are to small discrepancy of your data from the actual distribution that you train your model on? <coughs> the, the, the fourth uh, focus is about uh, generative models. More and more, we use these deep models to, to generate data, to generate uh, uh, very high dimensional data like uh, faces, uh, speech, um, and, and any, uh, videos, or text nowadays. Uh, so uh, these are very difficult uh, and, and high, high dimensional data. And can we say something about how we do that? Uh, the second major focus is that uh, because these models are, are very useful in practice and people are making a lot of money, uh, we really want to try to bridge the gap between the, the, the theory and the practice, but also between industry and academy. So there's going to be a lot of people from industry during this uh, workshop, uh, as well as uh, a lot of uh, uh, people from academia. So what are we going to have? There's going to be uh, 25 uh, long-term visitors, as well as 11 research fellows. Uh, we'll have a boot camp for, to bring everyone up to, to speed about what we already know. And then two workshops, and I'm, I'm going to go into more details in the next slides. One thing that will be different from other programs, I think, is that we're going to have industry visitors that will come one day a week uh, and visit the, the assignments for during the, the, the whole program. They'll come from the Bay Area, so you'll have Google, of course, OpenAI, Amazon, NVIDIA, IBM, and well, likely many others. Uh, we'll organize seminars, symposia, reading groups. Uh, there will be some interaction with uh, concurrent uh, programs like the, the summer cluster on fairness. So we hope that's going to be useful. So the boot camp will be at the end of May. And uh, it's going to, we are going to try to go really uh, as much as possible to the state of the art of everything we know about the theory of deep learning. Uh, and then the next two ones are going to go even deeper. So in mid-July, the frontier of deep learning, uh, we'll have talks about really uh, really cutting edge uh, result in deep learning theory. And then uh, what's going on uh, later, so the emergent, emerging challenges in deep learning, uh, early August, uh, what's going on uh, in fairness, reinforcement learning, uh, and uh, maybe and also I can talk about that. So I think this is it. I hope uh, some of you will be there. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I'm done. Questions? Any questions? So can one participate in uh, subsets of the program rather yeah. than the whole program? Sure. Of course. I think there will be a, a place where you can actually register or you can just come. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want to come along to the boot camp or workshops, that's very easy. You can go along to the website. If you'd like to participate in this uh, once a week program of you know visiting from from uh, Silicon Valley, you know, let us know. Okay. Yeah. What about the postdocs? How many? There's some postdocs in the program, right? Yeah, yeah, there are. <laughs> Eight, so we have. So uh, I have eleven. Uh, yeah. So is that what we call research fellows? <laughs> okay. Yes, we do. I think they're already chosen. They're chosen. Yeah, yeah. Everything is already. The long-term visitors and postdocs are already. One more question. Do companies get to interact with each other also on these topics? Or is it uh, per company? No, 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 no. I mean, the goal is to bring everyone together and talk. <laughs> so, of course, uh, we want, uh, we want to, to talk to Amazon and it's IBM. It's the same day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays are Google. <laughs> no. no. Change the questions. All right, thanks a lot.